What is up guys, it's AvrilR32 here, bringing you guys a quick, I guess you could say update video, um, and just a little bit of a discussion video. Um, so first, I just want to say I was at 98 subscribers, now I'm at 97. I really want to try and hit 100, so if you guys could please spread the channel, uh, spread the news about it, just say, hey, this guy, AvrilR32, he almost has 100 subs. If you're not already subbed to him, then go sub to him. Um, that'd be really helpful to me. Um, and I will be having coverage of YCS Austin um, as much as I can because um, I am going to be putting those deck profiles up for you guys as soon as I get them. So be on the lookout for that. It's probably going to be more tomorrow than anything, uh, but I will try and have as much coverage as I can, more deck profile wise, because that's all I really care about personally. Um, but if there's anything you guys want to see from the event, um, uh, just really anything, just let me know uh, in the comments below or just in a PM and that'd be really great. So, um, next thing I want to discuss is, um, oh, and the quick uh, subscriber thing. You guys may have noticed on my channel and maybe on your own channel that your subscriber amount was gone. It was just a glitch in YouTube. Uh, they fixed it, as you can tell. All my subscriber numbers are back and um, the video views were always uh, there. So, and once again, I know I haven't posted in a few days. I've been busy. <laughs> um, but I want to do a discussion video on the Uriah control deck. Now it did run Sangin, and Sangin is now banned. What can we use in this deck to um, pretty much achieve um, what it is that we want to achieve? Um, you could either throw in a second Trigodia. Um, there's there's a lot of cards that you could really throw in with this deck. You you can usually end up with a big hand. And since you run Trigodia and Uriah, that's why you only use one skill drain, because you want to be able to shut down your opponent and um, at the same time uh, not have your monster's effects taken out. Or you could just have skill drain, drop Uriah, um, maybe set, like, well, you don't run MST, but if you would side deck MST, set MST, activate, blow up skill drain, oh, hey, you just attacked my giant beat stick, <laughs> um, but you could, you know, like I said, you could throw in a second Trigodia. Um, I would not recommend Gores, just because all these continuous traps will be sitting on the board for a while. So, uh, Gores could definitely be a dead draw. Uh, you can test it out for yourself. I don't think it would be that good. Um, but really, there's, there's not, like, there's a lot of cards that you can throw in to this deck. Like, you could throw in a 30 Raya, but, I mean, you want to keep it a 40 card deck solid. Um. And that's why the monster count is so low, because the lower it is, the better. Like, there's not a lot of monsters you can really throw into this deck. Yeah, there's a lot of continuous traps you can throw into this deck, but at the same time, though, it's still it's still kind of difficult. Um, and the extra deck is pretty much, I mean, standard. I mean, you could take out the Shining Elf for another Dark Mist. I mean, um, the two Shians are just, just for lull, honestly. Like, you could take these out, obviously, to um, throw in something else. Um, but there's like it's it's hard to explain like there's only so many things you can throw into a 40 card deck to make sure that it still stays consistent like you like two uriah is what you want like i mean if you're trying to go for something like um what's the fusion monster's name um i think it's like oh if you're trying to go for something like this that's a little bit different um, I actually kind of want to make a deck around this. Um, it's kind of difficult, though, just because you have to have Uriah, Haman, and Raphael. And you can't be special summoned from the extra deck. You have to banish the above cards you control. So you have to control Uriah, which you already do in this deck. You have to control Haman, which you have to send three face-up continuous spells. Then you got to send three face-up fiend-type monsters on your side of the field in order to play Raphael. Then banish all three of those to play Armatile. And then he can't be destroyed by battle, and he gains 10,000 attack during your turn only. So, definitely broken if you can drop him. It's just a matter of making him work, you know? And that's kind of like what this is. You're trying to make this kind of deck work. And it works decently well. Like, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do with the continuous traps just because you run so many. Hell, you could take out a Zoma, and you could throw in a Metal Reflex Slime, and then you could run Gustav Max. You could take out an Imperial Custom, or even take out a Skill Drain for a third Scrub Raid. Like, there's a lot that you can do with the Continuous Traps. Um, you could take out an Accumulated Fortune if it's not working out for you, and throw in another plus one draw card. Um, but, 
Uh, I think that's kind of it on this little discussion video. More of an update thing than really anything, but I kind of just wanted to get my two cents out there about the Uriah deck again because this deck is very fun. Um, it has the potential to become competitive. Um, it's just very difficult for it to just because of all the other fast decks that are coming out and War Gods are coming out and like uh, so many things are coming out. Um, but, you know, give this deck a whirl if you guys haven't already. Um, it's very fun to play on DN. Um, but other than that, I think that's it. More of an update video, like I said. Um, I'm going to definitely be posting a lot tomorrow from the YCS. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.